we'll take this deputy and move him under this box. I think that'll complete the organizational chart. You've done a great job on it. I appreciate all your hard, hard work. I'm Sheriff Tim Gobble, and thank you for watching BCSO TV. Today I thought it would be appropriate to introduce you to my executive assistant, Jennifer Johnson. Jennifer and I have known each other for about three years, and she does a fantastic job of keeping the office organized here at the Sheriff's Office, answering the phones, uh, taking messages, uh, working my, uh, with my schedule and uh, scheduling appointments. And Jennifer, I appreciate all the hard work that you do. And she, she does a whole host of other things over here as well. Jennifer, let's tell our viewers a little bit about uh, how you became uh, involved at the Sheriff's Office and a little bit about your background, uh, work background and family background. Okay, um, I worked at Owen Chemicals and Arch Chemicals and um, then I was recruited from there to a private industry and then after the private industry then Arch Chemicals called me back to come and help them get um, certified through RMS which is a system that uh, keeps up with their OSHA regulations and it's a computerized system that takes care of all that and I helped them get certified and after they were certified then I came to EMA. Alright, we were looking for somebody who had a background in emergency preparedness and emergency operations plans and uh, Jennifer certainly had that background with uh, Arch and we were glad to get her and have her come to EMA. She did a fantastic job there. Then when I was elected sheriff in 2006, I knew of her organizational skills, her computer skills, and all those things, so I asked her to come over and help us during the transition, and uh, she's been here, and she's done a fantastic job, and she uh, does a great job each and every day as my executive assistant, so Jennifer, thank you very much. You also have a family, uh, little, uh, little Jessica, she does a fantastic job, she's uh, riding horses, she's a great horse rider, equestrian as they say, uh, and let's tell our viewers a little bit about uh, how she got involved in horses, and she's She's no bigger than a minute, but she can handle a horse like a master. Yeah, she's um, she's always loved horses, always been around them, and when she's about three years old, she started riding, and um, ever since then, she's just really blossomed and taken off with the horses. She now barrel races. She's uh, she's cute as a bug, and she has a dad named Bug, right? Yes, yeah. she sure does. <laughs> right. Tell the viewers how about about Bug and well, his real name. His real name is John Johnson, but um, his nickname is Bugs, and that's what most people know him by. Well, he does a he does a good job. He's involved in tree service and yeah. uh, owns his own business. And then the stables are located out on Lad Springs mm -hmm. Road. Uh, you're also the involved in Mayfield PTO, aren't you? Yes, my daughter goes to Mayfield Elementary, and um, I helped out, or I help out in Mayfield PTO. Um, I recently helped them have our little money cards for our Mayfield Spring Fling. And that just was just took place a couple weekends ago. I know yep. that I know that's a lot of work. I happened to serve two years as a PTO president at North Lee, and I have great respect for any parents that take on the work in PTO. I know that's a lot of a lot of work. And uh, uh, one of the things that we want to maybe mention uh, that I know that you utilized at the Mayfield uh, Spring Fling is after it was over, there's a lot of trash and things that gathered mm -hmm. up. Uh, you told our corrections division and they sent some inmates over and helped clean up the school afterwards and I think that saved the PTO some money as well as the oh, school yeah. system, didn't it? Yeah, it sure did and they did a wonderful job cleaning it up and I believe Miss Fennison was tickled to have them help us get it cleaned up because it didn't take near as long. We make mention of that. Uh, they go out and clean up on public property. We're going to highlight our litter pickup program uh, at a later date. But if you any public property, any schools that need any assistance, any work done, if they'll let us know, we'll be glad. Call Jennifer. We'll be glad to get that scheduled and have a crew come out. Thank you again for watching BCSO TV. And Jennifer, thank you for all your hard work. Tune in next time. And remember, when we say protect and serve, we mean it.